so it's been about a month. But I'm thinking, like, why do all that? Why not build an e-bike? Use the bike I have, make it into an e-bike. I don't want to buy a new e-bike, because the thing is I have a really skinny, nice road bike. If I can make that into an electric bike, it would go so fast. 2,000 years later. Since I recorded that last piece, it was then a week until I ordered all the parts. Then after I got all the parts assembled, it was another week until I could actually get it to work. So yeah, this baby here has been a lot of work, but it's also been like a lot of payoff. Listen, first when I got it, I installed the parts. It worked for one day and then it stopped working. Turns out you gotta fix something in the battery. They had to remove it. They had to, you know, solder something. So that sucked. And then after that, it's just been a bunch of keep up. If you notice this tire here and then there's a normal tire right here. That's because when you put an electric motor on this frame, it just causes it to go through a lot of wear and tear real quickly. So the wheels, I have noticed I had to do more maintenance stuff. I had to tighten the brakes more. But if you notice how dirty everything is, that's just because of how the shitty the weather has been. But you know, this is um, a Tongsheng TCZ whatever, mid drive 350 watt motor. Then uh, I forgot how many milliamps, I think this is 8,000 milliamp battery. So yeah, it, it's like that. So we're gonna just check out some of the things. So this is the, the view you get, you get, um, get your miles per hour here I have 260 miles on this rig here here you have the type of mode you're using so you can turn it down turn it up yeah so that's basically it for that and yeah simple little mod I mean the fact that it can go on a freaking um, on a fixie like this I had to get this seat though the plush one because the when you're going 25 miles an hour in your city streets it really hurts your butt. So yeah, now I'm going to show you some of the acceleration. So here we are riding it. I'm just going to show you the acceleration. So we're here stopped, you know, zero, zero on that bitch. And then I'm going to, so when, what happens with this motor is that you fucking push on the, on the, on the, on the gas as in the pedals and it just starts yeeting you. So I'm not really working that hard, but you'll notice I fucking took off real quick. So you'll see how I handle this little thing right here. I mean, t almost 20 miles an hour uphill. It's pretty good. So yeah. So now just to show you a comparison, I'm gonna turn this bitch off. All right, I mean, I could have just, so this is how the acceleration looks without the motor. Pretty shitty, right? Yeah. So let's turn the motor on. And then we're gonna see a comparison. So what you do is I put it up to the highest setting all the time. I only use it on the turbo boost mode, whatever. So you'll notice right away I'm eating it out of here. We're eating it out of here. And that's it. I mean, I got used to it now. I don't even need my hands anymore. But, you know, 22 miles an hour in a few seconds just pedaling. For me, the pedaling is so easy because I'm used to riding this bike without the assist. So yeah. The thing, thing I'm gonna have to warn you is when you get an electric bike, your, your brakes is gonna be taken. It's gonna be taking a little bit of a toll. So yeah. If you saw that, you'll freaking notice that it was pretty fucking goddamn fast. Now let me show you how the acceleration looked like from a third person view with no boost. This is how the acceleration looks like with the battery. As soon as the motor catches 
the speed I get fast. But if you notice, I'm gonna turn off the motor. I'm gonna press this button. Just notice how slow I'm gonna take off. That's it, folks. That's all. that I had to freaking get up on my pedals and push myself up that hill. Meanwhile, when I had the motor, I just yeeted myself off there. So, this is how you turn it on. You're riding it, I don't know if you can see. I'll press the, the this button, All right? And then, boom, power on. You know, a little steep hill there. Put the power in and then just yeet it down. Yeah, boy. But the thing is, the acceleration doesn't work when you're freaking yeeting it when you're already going 20 and I got a break. All right. Yeah, the acceleration stops at about 20 miles an hour. That's just you pushing it at that point. It's not going to help you out to go even faster. I wonder if there's a way to unlock that because it seems like it's... The motor definitely could push you more, but it doesn't. And even at the higher mark, like 16 miles an hour, you gotta really push it harder to tell the motor to actually give you that extra boost. Unless you do that, you're not gonna be going any farther. So, we're gonna push it a little bit. You see, it went from 14 to 18. It's still helping me at this point. It kind of minor assists it, and that's it. So yeah, this is how it is having a fucking electric fixie bike. I hope you guys think this is something cool. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is this fucking hill right here. This bitch, hopefully I'll be able to break in time holding the camera. I think it'll be good though. You see, I have the camera strapped though to the screen, but I took it off to make this video. So whatever, kid. I, I busted my ass. I'm gonna insert the video of me on this hill skateboarding. Okay, regular biker alert. Regular bicycle alert. It's time to overtake. It's time to overtake, bro. He's got nothing. Alright, bro. It's, o it's over for your life. He already sees me. He already know I'm coming, bro. It's over. I'm sorry. Alright. And that's it. That's all it takes. But I would have beat him without an electric bike, to be honest. So yeah, I mean, if you look at me, I'm type kind of getting tired here, but I promise you I'm not expelling that much energy. So here's something else, hills. Hills is the main part where this helps out. It gives you that extra boost. See this pretty steep hill right here? Yeah. My hit him, okay, got up to 13. I mean, if I didn't have the motor, I would have had to freaking put like push myself up on the fucking pedals. So I didn't have to do that. I just yeeted it up there. Hey, you see that path? Let's see if I want to go down there. So let's see. This is again very dangerous. Don't hold the camera while you're doing these bike shit. Oh shit, I almost dropped the GoPro. Where am I going? The office chair. Why did it drop? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. This is a very creepy place. But what I will. Oh, sh oh no, I ran over some glass. 
This is what I get, yeah. Watch me not get a flat, even though I've gotten so many flats for random things. Oh, please don't be a flat. But if you notice something, when there's a few bumps in this bike, it starts rattling like crazy. You gotta really be careful. So, now just for me to find out if I got a flat. Let's see how this hill looks gnarly though. This hill looks really hard to get up and there's so much glass. Holy shit, I definitely got a flat. I mean, I don't feel it yet, but I feel it coming. Flats don't come right away. I mean, I'm holding the handlebars by one. That's creepy. I'm holding the handlebars by one freaking handlebar and just pushing it lightly and it still goes up. So here's some footage of my normal commute. I just to show you how this feels when you're actually riding it somewhere, which is 90% of how I ride this bike. I rarely just go to the park to go down some hills. But it's just to show you, you're swerving around people, probably getting places faster than a car. If you're like staying in a borough, you should be faster than a car. If you have to go, you know, to a different borough, Manhattan to Brooklyn, whatever, then it's gonna take a little longer. Um, so yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions about the specifics of this bike, I would be happy to answer that in the comments. Uh, I'm trying to talk more in the comments, so if you guys want to tell me something, I'll try to respond to everything, because I know in my previous videos people would comment and I would never respond this time. I'm really um, curious to talk about this stuff. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of this content. I'm not saying just like reviews of like stuff like this, but let's maybe I'll do like more biking videos. Also, should I go in a more comedy direction or should I go in a more technical direction? I think don't take this video too seriously. It's like half of me reviewing this bike and then half of me just being funny about it. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm taking myself too seriously. So please don't take me too seriously. This is not like an in-depth freaking technical review here. So thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Hopefully I'll make more videos in the future. This is to that one dude that told me, bro, make a video for me. I'm like two months late, but you're welcome, bro. Alright, thank you. Have a good one. Have a great day.